Hey guys, this is Recidivate, your favorite freshman, and this is the gameplay that I've been talking about on Twitter for quite a while now. This is my unsilenced Type 95 Moab, which I got last week. Uh, very, very unlike me. I First of all, I don't really like three-round burst guns. I mean, they're good, and I use them to my advantage a lot, and I've gotten a few Moabs with the Type 95, but uh, I've always used silencer and rapid fire but on this gameplay you know I had a friend over my house and he, we you know I was fooling around I'm like you know what? I'm gonna put on the uh, the red dot and the rapid fire on and he's like wow you're so stupid like or something like that basically he insulted me by saying I was stupid and then one of the next games that I was using it got this Moab now Bakara is a very long range map you guys know that so using assault rifles is what seems to me the best idea to use uh, you know I'm not I'm not gonna give out tips because there's so many channels that give out tips but uh, the one tip that I do want to give is that assault rifles are very effective depending on how you are with some machine guns it could be you know and LMGs I'm just not an LMG guy so but I I, I bet they would work too but Terminator 5 I like using it not many people like it when people use it but you know it's a uh, it's a fun gun to use every now and then. Like I said, not a big fan of the three round burst, so I don't use it often, and I don't really. I I just find there to be no purpose in it. Like uh, for my style of play, I don't find there to be a purpose for three round burst. Where I'd rather have, you know, uh, a fully automatic assault rifle, or even an SMG, depending on what it is. So, to me, a Type 95 is not an ideal weapon. At least for my play style. I mean, I'm sure that people, uh, you know, have decent game styles and stuff where you can use this and it'd be all right. But for me, no. I don't. I don't really know what happened in this gameplay. I mean, I was playing ground war, which really does help. Uh, when you play ground war and you're playing solo, I think it helps more than just playing domination when you're solo because, you know, when there's so many people, there's less of a chance for them to actually come towards you. You know, if you're doing good and you're on domination, right? They, they seem to always go after the person who's like really close to Moab so they can try to stop him and then ruin their day. But ground war, it seems like there's just too many people for them to even focus on one person. Uh, obviously there are exceptions and it does happen every now and then, but um, I do find it to be a little bit easier. Especially since I don't have to use my headset on Ground War. I was not using a headset whatsoever. I mean, I have Astros, but I was not using them because it's Ground War. And uh, many people have told me, uh, well, not told me, but many people have said in their commentaries that when you're playing Ground War, you don't even have to use, like, a headset. You don't have to use Super Pro because everything's just so hectic. Uh, Green Goblin, people know who he is. He, um, he said he just plays music while he's playing on Ground War, which is, you know, that's really cool. And I tried it out without the music though, just kind of chilling here, talking to my friend, and we ended up. I ended up pull, picking this one up. So that's just a little fun fact about this. But I do hope you guys will enjoy this. Now, one thing that I want to touch on is I find that the M16 is also starting to be hated, which I don't understand really. You know, three-round burst guns are supposed to have a lot of power due to the fact that they are three round burst. They're not fully automatic, which means they're at a disadvantage. So to even out the disadvantage of them, they will add more damage to it. And instantly people think, oh, it's so overpowered. So people don't like the M16 anymore. They don't like the Type 95. Um, I'm surprised no one's hating on the MK14. I mean, seriously, that thing's, that thing's a two shot, one, to, one shot to the face. I mean, it's like a Dragunov or an Arsas just with less kick. Put a red dot on it and everything. And no one complains about that, really, though. So, I don't know, Call of Duty logic doesn't make sense to me, but that's alright. I mean, it's Call of Duty, it's not, it's not, it's not supposed to be real, so. But yeah, and a uh, little, little uh, thing I want to keep talking about for the next few days is the Open Lobby Monday, which basically I'm just going to get a bunch of people together for a ground war, and then we're all going to have play and have fun, and you know, it's going to be, it's going to be a good time. Don't have to run support for me. We're just going to get a Ground War Lobby going up because, um, you know, that's fun. I, I think it's really fun to play with a full team of Ground War. And, you know, like I said, you, you guys don't have to run support. So don't think I'm trying to be like, yeah, you guys can come play with me, but you have to run support. No, I mean, t kidding me? If you got a Moab and you were in my lobby, I would probably send you a friend request.
No, I, I would send people friend requests anyways, but uh, it's just been some, such a long time since I've had a full team of ground war going, so I thought maybe it'd be fun if you guys came and joined, so if it is that you guys want to be in a ground war team on Monday, I don't know when Monday, just Monday sometime, then uh, go ahead and hit me up. Send me, send me some kind of message or maybe a friend request, and uh, just, just so I know who it is, you know, send a friend request with a message that says, yo, let's play Monday, or I don't know. But if you guys want to be in that, then go ahead and tell me, and that, that's about it. Now, when it comes to school, uh, I mean, obviously I have to go to school, so when it comes to my upload schedule, really I don't have one, but right as soon as I get home from school, I will go on my Xbox and I will record a gameplay. And who knows how long that'll take, because sometimes I, I get really picky, as in, like, uh, I don't know which gameplay I want to post, so... I get really picky and I have to go through every single one and all that so um, but I will record I will make a commentary and then I will start to upload now when it comes to my uploading with the software I have you have to create a file first which makes sense I can understand that then after that you have to name it you have to uh, sign into the YouTube you have to name it you know put put the tags in and all that and then it starts the upload now my upload speed at my house is very bad, so usually for a video that is about this long, which is about 10 minutes, almost 11 minutes, it will take around 2 hours. So if you do the math, most likely my videos will be posted around 5.30 to 6 o'clock, depending on what kind of video it is. I mean, I could just show a Moab streak, and obviously that will be a little shorter than 10 minutes, hopefully. <laughs> so that will be a little less... Um, maybe around 5 to 5.30, I don't know. But, so that's just a little thing about the uploading schedule. And when it comes to the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, really, it's just whenever I get free time, I will post. So, Saturday and Sunday, you just kind of have to keep guessing about that. But that is my little upload schedule, is right after I get home, I will post a video. And on the weekends, I just kind of do my own thing. So, uh, Monday is going to be the same thing, though. I don't have school Monday, so it's just going to be whenever I can. Probably late at night if I'm if I'm going to be in a full in a uh, ground war lobby. So, <clears throat> just so you guys know that. Um, not many people have been asking about it, but I just figured it's nice to uh, let people know about it and stuff. So, clear up any confusion that that's what's going down on that. And I've been getting some really really nice support from you guys, and I really love it. Um, you know, I I've like I said in my other commentaries, my uh, my older commentaries. I did have a YouTube channel before, but I, I'm going to be completely honest. The support is really amazing, and, um, you know, on the last channel, there wasn't much support. I mean, people would dislike my videos just because, um, just because, I don't know, just because they didn't like it. But, uh, you guys, you guys are sticking with me, and I really appreciate it, and, uh, you know, you guys are giving me a lot of support. You know, I love the comments that I'm seeing, so thank you guys so much for everything. And I'm really looking forward to playing Monday, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for stopping by to my channel. And follow me on Twitter. It will be in the description. You can go ahead and click that link that's in the description, and then you can follow me on Twitter and ask me questions. I would like to start up a Q&A series uh, if I can. So go on Twitter and ask me questions. You can ask me questions in the comment section. Whatever works, but uh, if you guys are interested in seeing the Q&A then uh, go ahead and leave me some questions. And other than that, this gameplay is just about over. Called in the Moab already, and why well, just continue to die now? I, I don't do very good after I call on this Moab, but... Anyways, guys, I do hope you did enjoy this unsilenced Type 95 Moab. Peace out, guys. Bye.